So you may have seen from the coin flips on the screen that I have gotten five heads and five tails. So exactly half of my ten flips were heads and the other half was tails. So the question that I will be exploring today is for an even number of coins, what is the chance that exactly half of the coins will be tails and exactly half of the coins will be heads? Let's find out. So let's look at some simpler cases of this first. So first of all, we have to have an even number of coins. That's the only way where you can get uh, the same number of heads and tails. So let's start with two coins. What would happen if you had two coins? Well, to get one head and one tail, it would either have to be head tail or tail head. Each of these have one quarter chance because you're flipping two coins and uh, each coin is uh, one half chance of landing with either of them. And a half squared is a quarter, so then we just have to add these probabilities up to get a half. Okay, now let's move on to four coins. Now, how can we get an equal number of heads and tails if we have four coins? Well, that would be two heads and two tails, and there are six ways for us to do this. And then again, since each coin is our half probability of landing on what we want, uh, that means it's going to be a half to the power of four, so one sixteenth chance for all of these. And then again, we add these up. Uh, well, we can just multiply by six because there are six of them, so then that gives three over eight. So now we could just keep going and try like six coins and eight coins, but that would be getting to a bit too many cases, so let's see if we can just try generalizing it from here. So that means we're gonna say we have two x coins because uh, we must have an even number of coins, so that means x has to be a positive integer. So then if we want to get x heads and x tails, then how many ways are we they're going to be for there to do that. So like how many ways can we move them around so that there is uh, like they're all distinct different possibilities. So first let's assume that all of those two x points are different. That means that would be two x factorial permutations. However, we are actually overcounting because uh, we cannot distinguish between the heads and the tails, right? So let me just tell you, so let's just say we have uh, four coins, so we want heads, heads, tails, tails. There are actually four ways of getting this. Uh, if we're treating every single coin flip as unique, we could do head one, head two, tail one, tail two, or we could do like head one, head two, tail two, tail one, and uh, so on. So we've got those four different possibilities. So that means we would have to divide our uh, 2x factorial by some amount. So what is this amount? So the number that we need to divide by is just the number of ways to rearrange the heads and the tails individually. So the number of ways to rearrange the heads is just going to be the same as the number of ways to rearrange the tails, so we'll just be focusing on the heads. So, if we have x uh, different coins that are heads, that, uh, how many ways are there to rearrange this? It's pretty simple. Uh, again, just using the permutation factorial formula, it's just x factorial. And that is the same for uh, the tails too. So, that would mean the uh, total number of ways to get an equal number of heads and tails for 2x coins would just be 2x factorial over x factorial squared. So now we know the number of ways to get 2x coins to have x heads and x tails. So an equal number of heads and tails for 2x coins. However, that is not the probability. We're, we are looking for the probability. So how could we find the probability of having an equal number of heads and tails for 2x coins? Well, all we have to do is just multiply that number there by the chance of every single coin flip being the one that we want. 
So what is the chance? Well, every coin flip has a one half chance of winning what we want, and there's two x coins, so it's just going to be one half to the two x. Or we can also just rewrite this as uh, one over four to the x, just to write it in a simple way. And then so we just multiply this by our previous expression. So then that'll just get us this. So this is the chance to the probability that for 2x coins, you'd be getting x heads and x tails, so an equal number of heads and tails. So now that we have our formula here, we should probably test it for some values because whenever you derive a formula you should always just test it for some simple values. So just test them for the ones we already knew from our, when we found it. So let's just try x is 1 first. So that would just be two coins. Uh, if we put in x is 1 then we would get that it is equal to after a lot of simplifying uh, 1 half which is what we got uh, when we were just uh, trying some small values for the problem, just so like a while before. And then if we can do the same thing for x is 2 and we also get 3 eighths, so we can be pretty sure that this formula is correct. And so that means now we can use this formula to find out what the chance was uh, for what I was doing at the start of the video, so 10 coins. So that would be x is 5, because, so then uh, if we do that, all the calculation, we get 63 over 256, just under a quarter. So there was a just under a quarter chance of me getting a half tails and a half uh, heads for 10 coins. So that's it for this video, thank you for watching. Hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Uh, if you did, then uh, please like and also subscribe so that uh, you get notifications for the for my upcoming videos. And if you would like to guess how many takes it took me to get to that first video clip to have exactly half of the coins being heads and half of the coins being tails, then uh, just uh, leave a comment below. Uh, Whoever first gets it right, I'll pin their comment, and uh, otherwise, I think I'll see you in the next video, uh, but just before that, I am going to just give you one last uh, bonus. We are going to go through every single possibility for six coins. So, it's the number of ways to get an equal number of heads and tails for six coins. Let's go.